hey guys welcome back to part 4 and in this video we are going to create a project and the project is going to be not much difficult to do and the project is that we are going to use the part 3 by using which we are reading from the back uh, camera of your android and we are just going to read frames from the back camera and detecting the faces in the frame and blurring out those particular faces all the detected faces in the frame sounds cool let's get inside the video so prerequisites are that you should have watched part 1 to 3 and you should have this code until now and every single line should be clear to you what every single line of this code do so we are going to use cascade classifier and for cascade classifier we need a xml file which detects the knowledge of the faces like what faces to be detected what features to be expect in the frame to detect to consider it as a face so we need that xml file where to get that so remember in part one we have already downloaded this and open cv android sdk and you should go inside the samples and face detection and then resources and then raw and this is the file we need lbp cascade frontal face dot xml in case you have missed this file or deleted somehow i will leave this file in down description that could be a github link so you just have to copy this either this way or command c, command c control c get back to your project right click on resources create a new directory and you need to call this directory raw now in this raw directory you just should have to paste the copied file this xml file you hit ok now you should have this we are going to use this xml file now if we initialize the cascade classifier we need a path to this xml file and we need to create this file inside the directory where the app is going to be installed so how to do that very simple we just going to use the input stream reader and output file output writer to do all of this work so let's do that now remember in part one i have told you that this line is going to initialize the open cv and going to return true or false depending if the library has been initialized or not so if this is initialized we have enabled the camera bridge view base in part three and now similarly we are going to write a new xml file which is this and we are going to read from the raw and write it to the local directory where the app is going to be installed so how to do that first of all we need to read it so we are going to say input stream and let's call this input stream and we need to get the resources dot open raw resource and you just have to say r dot raw dot lbp cascade frontal face and hit with this we are going to be able to read from this frontal face start xml now we need to write the file inside the directory so we just have to open a new file 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 is equals to new file and we are going to need the directory like which directory to write this file so we say get directory where the app is installed the directory name will be cascade and the mode will be private and now it needs the name of the file so name of the file let's just keep it simple you can name it whatever you want now we have this file and we need to open the file output stream writer to write inside this file so we say file output stream and let's call this file output stream is equals to new file output stream and pass this file we need to write inside this file and we are getting this error and just have to surround this try and catch block i'll just shift these two lines also inside the try and catch block so it looks good and now we are going to read from this input stream and write in our, uh, in this uh, file output stream so we are going to read in the form of byte so i'll just call this data is equals to new byte and at a time let's read about 4096 bytes that's all we also going to need how many uh, bytes we have read bytes let's call this red bytes so why we need this so if i call this input stream dot read you see that it need bytes and it returns this int which returns how many bytes have been read we are going to store that in red byte and we are going to store the red bytes inside this data so let's do this inside while loop iteratively so we are going to check if red bytes is equal to which is returned by input stream dot read and pass this data and if this is not equal to minus one meaning we have read some bytes over here and we are going to surround in uh, io exception catch clause and once we have read inside the data we are going to write inside the file output stream so we just have to say file output stream dot write now it need the data 
the red bytes and uh, sorry offset and then the length of bytes have been read so dot write so data offset will be zero and how many bytes we have read is stored in red bytes that's all it is going to read from this frontal face right inside this frontal face and now once the, all the operations have been completed we are going to close this okay so now let's define our cascade classifier with which we are going to detect the faces so let's say cascade classifier cascade classifier and let's get inside over here and let's say cascade classifier is equal to new cascade classifier and it needs the path to that uh, to this xml file which we have recently wrote and to get that you have to take this file and say dot get absolute path in some cases it might be unsuccessful so we are going to check that also if cascade classifier is empty we are going to say cascade classifier is equal to null the reading process have been done we are going to delete this file let's get inside this file dot delete okay everything looks good now we have initialized our cascade classifier now we are just going to use it to detect the faces so remember in part 3 i have told you that when the frame has been read from the camera it is transferred via this input frame and we return this over here so we are going to process this input frame and return the processed one one thing this cascade classifier expect the frame to be processed in grayscale format so we need a mat of gray to store that so we are going to create a mat to store the grayscale frame and we are going to use rgb to store the rgb frame so let's initialize them over here and this is only going to be called once when the camera has been initiated so we can initialize them over here we can say new mat and similarly for gray we can say new mat when the camera is stopped we are going to release these resources first of all let's populate this gray and rgb frame so we are going to say rgb is equals to input frame dot rgba and gray is equals to input frame dot gray that's all and now we are going to return this rgb after processing we are going to process it over here now over here let's call the cascade classifier which we have already initialized and you just have to say detect multi-scale and it need image on which we want to detect and it uh, this object returns the rectangle list or mat of the object of all the rectangle where the faces could be and these are two uh, parameters you can tune for better result so we can say detect multi-scale and we want to detect in gray and mat of objects let's just for now let's say rects rects and i will going to define it above after this so scale factor will be 1.1 and minimum neighbors will be 2 or 3 these are the optimal values i found to be helpful so let's declare this rect and remember it's of type mat of rect uh, let's initialize it over here new mat of rect and let's release the resource when the work is done it's good and now we just have to iterate inside this rects and draw the rectangle around the faces and then blur that particular uh, sub mat or cropped particular part of the face so we are going to say for rect inside rects dot to list we are going to convert it to list so that we can iterate inside this and it is a list of rect so we can say rect rect over here now you just have to say img process dot rectangle and it need the mat on which you want to draw so we want to draw on rgb frame and then the rectangle itself so it's rect which we are iterating and then it need the color so it would be new scalar let's say let's give the thickness of 10 uh, up till over here this code is going to detect the faces in the frame and draw the rectangle around them now the only thing left is to blur that particular part again it's so 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 easy how to do that let's create a new mat submat which is going to hold the cropped part of the face so you just have to say uh, submat and it expect uh, to be a rectangle uh, rect class object so it is over here this rect since we are iterating inside this now we have this part the cropped face part we just have to blur this so we'll say img proc blur and pass this submat and the source will be submat and it will be a new size 10 10 and you can increase or decrease for the blur strength now that's enough it should do the work and 
everything looks fine i will going to show you the outputs of this on the screen now in case you are wondering how this is working you see that we are cropping the part from this rgb we are over here we are saying that rgb dot submat we are cropping the face out of this frame now this submat and this rgb both are pointing to the same resource if we make changes by using this submat variable those changes will going to affect the changes pointed by this rgb so since they both are pointing to the same resource if we do something to this rgb that thing will going to happen to submat if we do something to submat that thing is going to happen to rgb and lastly once our all of the work has been completed we can say submat dot release okay looks good and now i'm going to show you the outputs of our app all right so here you can see the issue is that when the phone is hold in the portrait mode then it is not able to detect for the faces but when you rotate the phone by 90 degree then you see that it is able to detect faces very perfectly nicely and accurately so to solve that issue if you want to go along with that just go with that it's no problem at all but if you want to use this face detection app with the portrait uh, phone so you have to follow this solution so we just have to transpose this grayscale image so we just have to say transpose gray transpose rgb and you come in over here transpose your gray to gray dot t so this is going to transpose your grayscale image now we want to detect for faces in the rotated image by 90 degree so just have to say detect multi scale on transposed now since the rectangle is in accordance with the transpose gray so we are going to cut out the crop out the submat from this gray but but over here we have to do want to process or draw the faces rectangle blur on the rgb scaled image so we are going to say transpose rgb is equals to rgb dot tessel so we are going to crop out the part from this rgb image draw the rectangle on this transpose rgb and while returning we are going to return this transpose rgb but again by applying the transpose so it is going to again uh, reset the rotation so i'm going to install this app and let's see how it perform all right so you can see that it is running perfectly fine uh, in the portrait mode also but now if you do in landscape it is not going to be able to do so it is working perfectly fine and i hope we should end this video right over here it is detecting faces perfectly accurately now in the upcoming videos we are going to do a lot of things so if you are interested in such kind of videos i would recommend you to subscribe and hit that bell icon and the last update i want to add uh, over here if you want to do with the front camera so you just have to get inside your activity main.xml and there is a tag called camera id and in place of this you have to say front and by using the front it is going to start capturing from your front camera and there is also a thing called core dot flip this is used to flip the image vertically upside down or horizontally left to right or right to left so i'm just telling you in case if you use the front camera and the image is flipped so you can do by using this particular uh, core functionality so i will end this video right over here and if you enjoyed this part make sure to subscribe this channel and like this video goodbye